So you're wondering, how can you use SEM Rush for SEO? I'll let you in a little secret. SEM Rush is my number one tool for SEO for the last five years. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome to another video of The Hustle Show. Thank you so very much for tuning in and watching this video. First off, before I even begin talking about SEO and before I even go crazy with content on this, I wanna make sure that you join the Hustle Show family, okay? So if this is the first time you see a video of us, make sure you hit the subscribe button underneath this video. Subscribe, join the family of the Hustle Show. We make a lot of reviews, video tutorials, and we interview a lot of successful people for motivational and just to keep you pushing forward, okay? If you like that type of content, I appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. So the question of today is how do you use SEM Rush for SEO purposes? What is it? How do you even use it? What you know, what are you gonna do and what are you gonna be able to do with this tool? So SEM Rush is an only one platform that I absolutely love. I've been using SEM Rush for years and years, and I've been doing SEO for a while, probably around six or seven years now. So I've been around for a while, I've tried most of the tools out there. And the reason why I like SEM Rush is because it's all in one, but it's not just that. I mean, all the tools inside are pretty good. So whether you want to do keyword research or you want to do backlink competitor analysis or you want to do PPC research or you just want to have some ideas for content, for SEO, for, for, for whatever it is, SEM Rush is going to be able to help you do that, okay? So there's gonna be a link in the bottom of this video for a free trial, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump into my computer. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of SEM Rush. How can you use it for SEO? And trust me, I've been able to rank hundreds and hundreds of pages just using this tool, knowing the competition level, knowing the search volume, knowing which keyword to target just from this tool alone, okay? So let's jump right in and I'll show you how to use it for SEO. All right guys, so this is my my SEM Rush and I'm going to show you how to use it for SEO purposes. Whether you have your clients trying to optimize your own website for your business, your blog, whatever it is, this is going to be an incredible valuable tool for you to use, okay? So overall, a lot of tools happening, a lot of things and it can be overwhelming but I promise it gets easier as you start using it and I'm going to show you some really cool tricks. So the first thing that you want to do for SEO, of course, you're going to start with keyword research. So what you want to do is you want to go to keyword analytics. You want to go to keyword magic tool. Here, basically, you're going to be able to do research for keywords, whether it's come up with new ideas, uh, find out how many people on a monthly basis are looking for your keyword. Also look at competition to rank. Um, I won't go into the details of cost per click since that's not SEO. So I'm going to do something like dental office or dentist in Dallas. You can search for whatever keyword, whether it's a blog, a blog post, an article, a podcast, a business page, whatever it is, you can literally go through hundreds and hundreds of keyword variations just by coming up with even just dentist. Um, the reason why I want to show it the local one is just, you know, a lot of people do local SEO. So I just want to keep it simple, try to compile with everybody, but I'll do something more generic in a second. So once you search for this, uh, it's going to give you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of keywords. So this is just page one of 11. So trust me, there's a lot of keywords here. So usually you have your keyword, that's the first column. You have your volume, which is the search, the amount of searches on a monthly basis that people look for this. You also, and this is just average, it's not very accurate. There's gonna be months, there's gonna be a lot more, other months are gonna be a little bit less, depending on the trend, but it's a pretty good uh, statistic based on, or a pretty good sample based on my experience. Uh, when it comes to the trend, basically telling you when are gonna be the, the, the hike, the, the pikes and, and, and the spikes and the drops in traffic. Then the key, the KD here is going to be the keyword difficulty. So this is how hard is it to rank for this keyword. Um, anywhere f over 70 is going to be difficult. Um, 80 and 90 are going to be extremely hard. Um, in the 50s and 60s is going to be doable. It's going to take a little bit of work, but it's going to be doable. Any anything below 49 is going to be on the easy side. So a 30 is going to be easy. 28 is going to be easy. 43 is going to be medium. Um, and I scroll down, there's a 63 right there, so it takes a little bit of work. Um, 80s is gonna be very hard to rank for. 
Uh, 70 is gonna take a little bit of work. Um, and you kind of get the idea. This one's 32, this one's easy. 86 is gonna be extremely difficult. And even though it looks like this is like a company, it probably has a lot of domain authority, so a lot of power SEO authority, um, and, and it's just very, very hard to rank for. So I wouldn't even go after that. Um, of course, anything like this, like associate dentist jobs, it's probably gonna be competing against Indeed, Glassdoor, and, and all those job boards that are very, very powerful websites. So I wouldn't go after those either. But you can always pick, you know, if you have a, a dental client, you can always pick things like best dentist in Dallas, uh, it's medium keyword difficulty, emergency dentist, pretty pretty good keyword there, pretty diff pretty good difficulty, not hard at all. Um, could probably be done in a few months. Uh, dentist in Dallas, GA, 43. Of course, that's another state, but you just go in towards the keyword difficulty here to show you. Emergency dentist, Dallas, Texas, 38. So you get the idea there. Now, let's say that you're looking to sell um, I don't know what you do. Let's say um, entrepreneur T-shirts. Something more general that you want to rank nationwide. Ah, uh, there's not a lot. So let's do custom T-shirts. Just try and look for something that is going to be more national ranking. Um, I don't think this is gonna be it. So I'm gonna just gonna do let's say. Uh, LED TV just for the heck of it something national that doesn't matter the city uh, you're gonna probably want to rack nationwide so LED TV 18,000 searches a month keyword difficulty 90 so this is like close to impossible to rank for but I just want to show you that this can be done local nationwide worldwide specific region no region of course all these keywords are gonna be like crazy incredible difficulty uh, 92 80s these are gonna be like crazy crazy difficulty to rank uh, this one right here 54 LED TV repair of course that could be localized or you can actually add the city to it so this is how you do keyword research you can also do um, topic research if you want to come up with content idea for SEO here you can do I uh, could do TV repair and it's gonna give you ideas for content, whether it's blog posts or social media, whatever it is, it's gonna be great for SEO. You can definitely create content around all these keywords. And I have another video, just go to the channel, look for the SEM Rush playlist and you'll be able to go more in detail into the topic research feature. But I just wanna show it to you how you would use it for SEO. Basically, what you can do is just come up with some ideas, um, I like this one TV repairs or this one right here flat screen TV repair cost so once it loads it take a couple seconds once it loads it's gonna give you give us a lot of ideas on content for blog post that we can create and start ranking for um, it's taking a little bit longer so I'm just gonna do this oh there we go show more so as you can see there's headlines there's a lot of questions again I don't want to go into detail because I do have a video that goes just specifically on topic research so go ahead and look it up on the playlist um, you can create SEO content templates so it's literally gonna tell you what to look for uh, TV repair and of course we need one to United States you can do specific to a state to a city but I just want to do the entire country to make it uh, very very simple so right now it's gonna give us some ideas for SEO content, how to rank for this specific keyword that I'm looking for. TV repair is giving you all your competitors, is giving you ideas for backlinks. You know, let's, you, you try to acquire backlinks from the following domains. It's gonna tell you how long to have the contact, the text, the text length on your page. And it's gonna tell, show you also the search results and how they're optimized for this keyword. Last thing that you're gonna be able to do is keep it very, very simple. So what I'm gonna do is just look for uh, TV. Oh, I can't type there. Okay, there we go. So, okay, there we go. So I uh, Google TV repair. So I'm just gonna grab a, this one seems to be a local business. So I'm gonna grab this website right here. And this is the last, 
cool thing that I'm going to show you today on how to do SEL for using SEMrush. You can always post the domain here, start search, and it's going to tell you everything about the domain. So it looks like it has 93 keywords ranking in the, in the first 10 pages of Google. Um, not doing paid search, there's 30 backlinks, so I would definitely work on this and increase that number. Then it's going to give you the top keywords that are driving the most traffic. If I click on view field report, it's going to tell me all the keywords that the website is ranking for and on what position they're ranking for. Now this is pretty cool because if I see keywords that are ranking number 13, I know that if I optimize this keyword, I can push it all the way to the first page if not the top five. And same thing for all of this, TV Repair Plano. Uh, you can probably optimize it. It's on a position number 20, but you can probably optimize it and, and take it to the first top five very, very easily. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned how to do SEO with SEMrush. I'm going to drop a link in the description box for a free trial to go check out this tool. It's incredible. I've been using it for so many years. been doing SEO for probably over five years now, and this has been my everyday tool. So go check it out. Sign up right now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as we hustle our way to success, okay? Take care. I'll talk to you on the next video. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the Hustle Show audio experience. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And even if you didn't, make sure you subscribe to the podcast right now. It's still free. Visit thehustleshow.co for all the show notes and to watch the video experience of this episode. We'll see you soon.